August 12, 2003. Blessed Mother. My son, you must stand firmly with your mother during this time. It is for this you have been prepared. I am with you now in a special way, and I will not leave you. You will need to remain recollected, but that is easy for one who prays. I want to talk to you about salvation. There are many who do not even consider their salvation, so they do not see sin as a threat. They often do not consider the idea of sin at all. There is a great deal of time spent on the consideration of why someone has committed a sin. These are diversions, my dear one. The evil one diverts attention from the sin itself and creates a dialogue where a dialogue is unnecessary. Each soul is to be held accountable for the sins he or she commits. That is quite simple. Certainly Jesus, as final judge, will take into account every factor that was involved in every sin, but the deed will stand alone and there will be no such dialogue at the time of judgment. You see, my dear one, this modern world is so unused to the truth that the truth is deemed too difficult for people. Once the truth is again spoken, people will recognize it for what it is and cling to it. I must tell you that sinners, even those committing the grossest of sins, will cast off their evil habits and return to the Son of Man with the greatest of remorse and joy. Many of our children are being convinced that sin is not sin. They are told that sin is a choice or decision they can make and that it has to do with culture or development. Any ridiculous notion is absorbed as truth, while the ones who tell the truth are scorned and flagellated as though they lie and try to inflict pain. We must concentrate on the fundamentals, my son. Salvation is not available for those who follow the path of darkness. They find themselves lured to the evil one, and often they cannot or do not extricate themselves in time. We will take these souls back now with the courageous focus on truth. God, your Heavenly Father, who is all goodness, has given me authority over this preparation time. It is with this authority I speak today. And with this authority, I intend to bring about the plan for the salvation for this world. You, my son, are to play a part in that plan. <laughs>